it comes to college ball, I don't necessarily follow a team. I like to follow individual players who I believe have star potential in their feature. You know, guys like Marvin Harrison Jr., by John Robinson, Jameer Gibbs, Bryce Young, Max Duggan. These are guys who are all playing at a high level, but there's one player, one player who completely shocked me last year. Deuce Vaughn. You want to talk about a guy who's out here defying the odds, standing at around 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, and was averaging 6 yards per carry as a true freshman against guys double his size, triple his size. I mean, he's just zooming past defenses like it ain't nothing to it. He's not your typical 5'11", 6'1", 220 pound back. No, he's a much smaller guy, but don't let his stature fool you. This man will embarrass you. His vision and speed alone is just remarkable. I mean, you're not catching this man in open space. It's just not happening. Now, do you know what makes Deuce even more impressive than he already is? His blocking ability. Now, you guys may be thinking, all right, stop it. What do you mean his blocking ability? Who is he going to be blocking? A fucking fifth grader? He's 5'5". Five, five. He can't block. You shut up and watch this. First game of the season against South Dakota. Martinez hands the ball off to Malik Knowles. Now, watch Deuce closely right here. Just an excellent downfield block. Let's run that back one more time. Look at how Deuce is standing. He's already ready to go and light somebody's ass up. He's running. Boo! Do you guys know how many running backs, not just in the NCAA, but in the NFL, that actually struggle with blocking? This guy is absolutely incredible. He is, without a shadow of a doubt, the biggest reason why K-State won that championship over TCU. I mean, what can't this man do? He's got the whole package. He can block. He has the vision. Breakaway speed. There's no doubt in my mind that this guy is going to be doing some serious damage in the NFL. He almost reminds me of another guy. Darren Sproles, who also went to K-State, was told he was too small to play high school ball, too small to play college ball, too small to play in the NFL. And what happened? Hall of Fame career. How do you like that? It's all about hard work and dedication. Even Barry Sanders, who's considered the greatest running back of all time, was only five foot eight. This just goes to show you that size does not matter. A lot of these scouts, you know, they get a hard on every time they see a big body behemoth. But once they see a small prospect, they don't even look his way. I believe that there's so many world-class athletes who are undersized and will always be overlooked for that reason, which is bullshit. But it's great to see a guy like Vaughn, who is undersized, but still doing it big in the NCAA. I mean, he had 1,400-yard season back-to-back. Back. Oh, my goodness. I know he's an inspiration to many other smaller athletes who have big dreams of playing college ball one day or even going pro. Congratulations to Deuce Vaughn and K-State on being 2022's Big 12 champions. I'll also be tuning in every Saturday during the college season and watch the Wildcats just to see the Deuce get loose. And I most definitely cannot wait to see what Deuce Vaughn will do in the NFL. What do you to see Duran Sproles on the sideline in Texas? Huge. Uh, second time seeing him in person. I've uh, been able to contact him. Uh, I have his phone number and things like that. He's been somebody that uh, is, like I've said this before, the blueprint for, for a guy that's my size and plays this position. And uh, to be able to talk with him for a little bit on that sideline. And then it, it was a big time motivation as well to go out there and play well because, I mean, you have the, the greatest of all time that to come through this, uh, this program out there supporting you in a game like that, man. Uh, you run a little bit harder.